hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video we will basically see another uh, uh, quality check for the source data where we will see how basically we can filter out the duplicate uh, records from the data frame or from a file okay so if you see here i have kept two duplicate values here okay one is this one they both are duplicate and there is one more mm, yeah this is the one right okay so these are the four rows or you can say the two rows which has one more duplicates okay so in total we have four records which are duplicates and rest all are fine and overall we have 24 records so let's see how we can filter out the duplicate records okay so okay yeah so remove i mean to filter out these duplicate records basically we will be using uh, one function called window which is a uh, pyspark sql function okay so i need to import it pyspark sql import windows and uh, we need one more thing here we need to import uh, column right the way we have imported in the last video i'll try to from next video onwards i'll try to keep these things uh, before the recording okay so we need to import these three things three four things okay and now as i said we will be using this windows okay to basically performing uh, any kind of uh, you can say partitioning and all right we need this okay so what it will do it will basically perform some operations uh, you can say um, basically basically it will do some calculations on the result set okay and it will generate the rank based on that part okay so so let me do it and then uh, i think you guys will get some idea like how exactly i wanted to use it okay so let's name it as like uh, w for something okay windows dot here is a function uh, it's not showing suggestions that's okay partition by i think and then in the partition by i need to pass the column list okay so in the last video i told you to get the column list we can use columns okay it will give me the list so now we are doing the partition based on the list of columns okay now <clears throat> to select the pet records right uh, to select the duplicate records i would say i'll use this source data frame okay and then <clears throat> i will use select operation in the select yeah i will since we are doing it for all the columns right i'll use star and then f dot count count is the function again we need to import this one also okay so we need to perform count on all these uh, columns again okay now over whenever we are working with the group by things right or with the for all the things right we need to use this uh, windows and i'll name this something let's say duplicate values or something duplicate records i will say okay and then after this i'll put one condition where i'll say duplicate records okay are more than one okay and then yeah i think let, let me run this one so that i can show you okay first of all like how exactly it is showing the data and i'll display or even before this where condition i will do it let's see no module found call okay we don't need it no module found count it's strange 
be, let's see. Windows is not defined. I defined already. Windows, okay. Hmm. I did some mistake, I think. My bad. Okay, that's why it was not even giving suggestions. Yeah. So if you see here, it gave me all 24 records first. And if you see, I have added one more column with the duplicates where we will be seeing some values. Okay. So see, these are duplicates, right? That's the reason we have instead of one, we are getting two. And these are the duplicate values. Now we need to just filter out these values, right? So to filter out, I'll put where condition where duplicate records are greater than one. Okay. And rest all I will drop. Right. So I will drop rest of the records. Let's run this now. Duplicate records is not defined, huh? Hmm. Why it is not defined? One minute, let me see. Duplicate records is not defined. I'm doing it, then this, then this. And then we are doing this one. Here we are checking it. Okay. Okay, now let's run it. Okay, so I kept it as in a hard coded string. Now, now it will work. And if you see, these are the two duplicate records we are getting. So this is how you can find out the duplicate records. Okay, and let's say if you don't want to find duplicates and you want to find the ones which are uh, not duplicate. So the only change you have to do is Instead of greater than one, you have to put just equal to one and you have to run it. You will get all your 20 records. So out of 20 records, four are duplicates and rest all are fine. So this is how basically you can use this functions to fetch the duplicates and the non duplicate values. There is one more way you can use, but in that way, the problem is that that is not working with the null value. So if there is any null value, right, it will straight away ignore it like this way. OK, so it will only give you these two records. That's why I'm not showing you that one. So this is the one which will run fine with the null values as well. So I hope you like this video. It will help you. Thank you. Thanks a lot.